Hey, what's up? So I assume you clicked on this video because you want to know, how do I make a deep fake? Now I want to mention first that this only works on a computer, you can't do it on an iPad or an iPhone, and it will work in Zoom or any other camera apps that you have or video conferencing apps that you have. FaceTime doesn't work on FaceTime, but I'm hoping soon it'll be able to work. So to get an effect such as this, you're gonna need a program called Lens Studio. Now this is made by Snapchat and it's meant for lens creators or people who make Snapchat lenses, which I make Snapchat lenses. So if you wanna follow my Snapchat lenses, uh, scan that code right there. If you don't scan that code, oh well. You're also gonna need Snapcam in order to use the lens. I linked the download button down below for Lens Studio and just go ahead and download it. You do need a Snapchat account, shouldn't be a big deal. But let's get into the deep fake. Here I am in Lens Studio and all I did was I set up a new project. So let's just take a look at my computer. Um, so here I am in the Snapchat interface, and you can see right there, or I'm looking at you, you can see right here that this is the face that I'm deep faking. Well, it may not look the most realistic, I don't know, it, it'll look better depending on what the picture you have. This was probably the best picture I had of my friend's face. So don't worry, I got consent to use this face, so we're fine. Now, let me show you kind of how to set it up. So let's go back out, and let's create a new project here. Here we are on the Snapchat interface. It does look a little bit complicated, but you don't really have to worry about a lot of the things right now. So when you start out, your first step is gonna to be to go to objects. Your interface might look a little different from mine. Mine's a little custom, but you wanna to go to the object section and then go add, add new. Once you go to add new, you're gonna to wanna to add a face mask. Once you add a face mask, it's gonna add this weird texture over your face, as you can see right here. And now that we got the weird texture, we're able to import the picture of our friend to it. So we can go default, add new, and you're going to want to import a file. Once you import the file, you'll see here in a second. Okay, okay, it's gonna ask you to access all this stuff for some reason. I don't care. Okay, so you're gonna open it and it's better to do it with someone with just one face. It turns out you have to crop out the picture of one person, you can't do it with four people. So you gotta just have the picture of one person in, and you'll see here that, well, I'll give it a second, that it works successfully. Now, this looks a little weird. You're really gonna want a picture where someone's face matches the lighting a little bit more. Like in my intro, you can see that one worked a little bit better. I'm just doing this for tutorial purposes, but if you take a picture of them, and it's got to be a pretty well-lit well -lit environment, but you see, this is a live deepfake. Now, let's test it out in Zoom. So here I am in a meeting with myself, uh, as you can see on the screen. Quality's a little bad, but let's add a little deepfake to it. So what we want to do is now, with that Snap camera app that we downloaded, we can open that up, and we can use Snapchat, Snapchat lenses inside of... Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we could use Snapchat lenses inside of Zoom and any other, like, well, not FaceTime, but things like FaceTime. So Skype works. There's a whole list of ones that work. Now that we're inside the software, we open up Snap Camera and we go to the filter that we published. So after we published it, we're able to get it in Snap Camera. It takes about 20 minutes for review. And now that we're in Snap Camera, we could just take it to Zoom go to our video sources, choose snap camera, boom. Now we have a live uh, live video conference with your friend's face deep faked on yours. Now this one also doesn't have good lighting. I don't have very many pictures with my friends with lighting inside my bedroom, but it's way easier if you take a picture of them while they're inside the room that you want, or if you can ask them to get like a picture with light on their face, it works way easier. Or you could use celebrities too. Now this does sound a little creepy, and it is a little creepy, but hey, I'm not judging. You could do it, I did it. Well, not really, I didn't actually do it, but I'm just showing you how to do it, okay? Anyway, that's the end of the video. I try to keep it kind of short and concise because I don't want to waste your time. You don't want to waste my time, even though you wouldn't be wasting my time by watching this, but it doesn't matter. Just, just, you won't waste my time if you hit the button right there, hit the button right there, they all work. My face is still deep faked a little bit. 
But they'll work, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Just trust me, just trust me. Anyway, 